NBC 26 News Update, I'm Nina Sporano. The numbers are in for the Wisconsin gun deer hunt so far. In total, there have been over 85,000 deer that were taken in statewide during the opening weekend this year. That's a bit lower than last year's opening weekend. Lambeau Field and Christian Outreach will be serving meals to people in need or who will be alone during the holiday. Today's preparations were underway for the meals to be served out on Thanksgiving. Today, Congressman Mike Gallagher honored Army National Guard veteran Ryan Longren and as Northeast Wisconsin's inaugural Veteran of the Year. Longren was selected by a committee of veterans and community leaders and was chosen because of his work to support veterans as they transition back to civilian life. What this means to me is uh, legacy. We can't take the money to the grave. We can't take anything to us when we die, but my daughter gets to, just got to witness this and everything that happened here today is going to go down in Congress. So leaving something behind for the next generation to build off of. And so that, what's, that's what it means to me. He's currently the host of the Freak Out podcast, which caters to the veterans community. Time now for a check on our forecast. We send it over to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Hey, Kim. Hi, Nina. We made it back up into the 40s today and tomorrow. It looks like 50s. Sunshine and clouds during the morning, and then the clouds went out by the afternoon. Really no major travel issues across the upper Midwest during the day tomorrow. Maybe some rain showers towards Chicago tomorrow evening. Strong cold front goes through tomorrow night. Maybe some snow showers Thursday morning, Thanksgiving, and then falling temperatures throughout the day for morning highs in the mid-30s. Much colder for Black Friday and then staying seasonable. 30s through this upcoming weekend and into early next week when we officially wrap up the month of November. Have a great night.